The long debated questions. Is there anything after this life? What happens after we die? Is there just nothingness, emptiness? Or is there a world beyond? From Aristotle and Plato to Ricky Gervais and Tom Cruise, everyone has their own belief or lack of it concerning what happens after we die. Is it as the Hindus and Scientologists believe? Are we reincarnated in an endless cycle of the soul attaching itself to different vessels? Is all of it just wishful thinking and a way for us to cope with the end of our and our loved ones lives as Dawkins and other atheists believe? Is it as the Christians, Jews and Muslims believe, albeit with some variations, that when this life ends, we will move on to a place where we will be rewarded or punished according to our deeds in this world? Whatever the case really is, this question has been on the mind of man since time immemorial. The distinguished meteorologist Professor Clement Lindley Rigg was a man who believed that there was more to our existence than this temporal world. He was a man trying to find some sort of balance between science and spirituality when he visited India in 1908. There, to his great surprise, he found the man who held the answers to his questions, someone who had come to show the world that religion can be and is logical and rational. This was none other than the promised Messiah, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadiyan. In his Q&A with the promised Messiah, he inquired about the next life and its circumstances. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad replied, Without a doubt, upon the end of this life, another life will commence. That will have different colors, of course. But this is not yet the time to describe its details. Those who will have done a good sowing of the seeds in this life will have a blessed start in a new system. And as for those who have sown evil, will commence a series of difficulties and punishment. There remains in this new life also a type of connection with this life. The connection will not be completely cut off. The state of dreams is there by way of example. There is life in the state of being awake, but as soon as one goes to sleep, an amazingly grandiose transformation takes place. Describing the nature of the rewards and punishments of the afterlife in his lecture, the promised son of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad, stated that although the nature of the afterlife is unknown, as the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him of Islam, stated, No eye has ever seen, nor an ear has ever heard, nor a human heart can ever think of them. However, it should be known that the things of the life to come will resemble and assume the form of things in this life. As the Quran says in chapter 2, verse 26, they will say, This is what was given us before, and gifts mutually resembling shall be brought to them. He also gave the similitude of dreams and visions in this life and stated, Just as in the state of dreams, Everything is spiritual but still has a sense of reality and everything is tangible. So too will things in the next life be of a spiritual yet physical nature. To learn more about Islam Ahmadiyya's view on life after death, click the link in the description. As always, like, share and subscribe to join us on the next episode in this series of Professor Raig and the Promised Messiah.